Are you professional? That's crazy how well it holds on. It's a suction cup. So this project is a uh, another example of my stupidity. Um, this is the A7 II and before I had the uh, A7R3 which is what I'm using now, I cracked the display on here just because it was in a bag and it wasn't protected like a lens hit it or something so it chipped the display and I did not do enough research about this camera like how easy it is to replace this piece without taking apart the entire assembly so I took the entire camera apart like there's like three sandwiched boards and uh, yeah during that process I uh, uh, I screwed up like the the cable like snakes through some slots for the display and I was testing like one of the replacements and the uh, ribbon cable ribbon cable was not in there uh, it wasn't aligned correctly with the uh, socket or whatever you call it so it, it uh, burned out like it shorted out so I got another one, tried it, new cable and whatnot. The backlight doesn't work anymore. I mean, it, it comes from the main board. So it's like, I imagine there's like some way you can fix that. Maybe like trace the routes, bridge it somewhere or something. But I'm not like that level of a hardware guy. I don't have like an O scope or something. Anyway, uh... So I had this other idea where I could just attach a external display to it. I have one of these things, which is, you know, something you get from a store, it's legit. But it's giant, like I don't want that. I want something that's like the original display. So it'll sit like that. Uh, and then the uh, eye cup sensor thing is up there, so I don't think it'll trigger it. These things are very tight, or they were, until I realized I could use a pair of needle nose pliers to push these things down. And then these things work great. But in the past, I had one of these cells get destroyed because it crimped the end and it shorted. So I've uh, come up with the design I'm going to go with. Um, if you look at it sideways, there's a gap there. So the battery will be like right about there. And then uh, there's electronics there will be space in there, but the main thing is the um, the suction cup that goes on there. Um, it has like a the solid plastic body will have a like channel or cavity that it slides onto this thing. So, and then uh, the display will have a border around it. Um, just so like to protect the edges of the glass. Um, yeah, and then the uh, this is the back view, so it'll be a switch. If you look at it this way, the switch will be up here. But uh, that's the bottom case. It doesn't have the screw on the farthest end. I'll have to like manually tap that in. And then the two screws here aren't going to get used because of that rest piece that's in the way. This is amazing. Um, well, this is a like half ass design thing, but when you get it in person, 
It's crazy. And it fits like a glove too. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. So right here, I just want to show how much of a pain in the ass SketchUp is. And it's my own fault because I'm not willing to put down the time to learn something like 360. Um, this is a like surface modeler. So something can look solid, but it's not. And then you go to print it, and there's like a giant missing block. Um, so it's like something basic, like or I need to make a screw hole. I do some crazy stuff just to make sure things don't intersect. Like right here, there's hidden services, and then this freaking thing here. Yeah, it's like there, there's like lines there that aren't visible, and it just screws everything up. <laughs> it's like the. 18650 support that was going across, I had to redesign it because somehow it was slightly angled. But still, you can use SketchUp. I mean, it's pretty powerful. And it's free. But I have uh, 360 on my list of things to learn. I also have to like commit to it because it costs money. But yeah, I've, I've used SketchUp since, I don't know, like 2008 or something like that. I mean, I've known it that long is the thing. That's why I keep going back to it. My poison. <clears throat> I just wanted to highlight the, uh, the, b the part stacking here. There's really not much that's display. I mean, you're using something that works off the shelf. I'm just wiring things. Uh, and here the order's not right, but you'll see. The Display goes down first, then these risers get stacked on top, screw them down, and then the uh, battery goes on top of the riser, you solder the parts together, and this top piece comes on last. Gel. I don't know if I show it here. Oh, and then that's the suction cup modeling. It wasn't right, but the real fit was correct, so that was good. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see how it lines up. And I like this uh, exploded view here. That's pretty legit. I forgot about that. I need to put that somewhere. That was a cool picture, man. Yeah. There it is. Four hours later. It's pretty good. I only see one. There's a problem with the support here. I noticed that in Kira, it didn't like fully render columns with the preview, but it's not a big deal. Looks like it's still printed correctly. This is pretty nice how this came out. I just went around with a thing and applied pressure, broke the little seals, and then the whole thing just comes out. Wow, crazy. Since I already have this uh, wired, I did have to bend this. I'll bend it back up to fit it through, but ideally you'd screw that on before it was soldered. The fit is good. I have not screwed it together yet. That's a little concerning there, but wow. I just slid right on. Great. Oh yeah. And then see the switch action. Boom. <laughs> There's one flaw with the design, the uh the screw things. It did not account for the the heads. So I'm gonna have to take a soldering iron and screwdriver and just push down. Well, there it is. External display. It's janky, unfortunately, when it's attached. There it is, attached. Suction cup. 
I put a piece of foam on the bottom to angle it upwards, otherwise it sags downwards. Cantilever, yo. This is the Tamron 2875. The wire's kind of in the way. Isn't that crazy? It's an HDMI cable. <clears throat> so now we turn it on. Switches back here. How's the brightness? Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring the stylus. You can turn it up. Oh, that's not bad. I can see that. I got sunglasses on. It's bright as hell. Aspect ratio is like a square. So there's some unused space. This display is okay, but you can see a diagonal tearing. And then the dots are visible. There's like a grid. But, you know what? That's what you get when you're stupid like me. <laughs> Freaking beast. So, unfortunately, even at 100% brightness, the, the display is hard to see on a day like today when there's no cloud cover, sunny. Um, even if you put like a shroud over it, you still can barely see. The background reflection is too bright. So, a little sad, but. No. I still have the eyepiece too, but yeah. This is what I do. Walk around, find something to take a picture of. I like these flowers. Purple. All over the place. There's also the cherry blooms, which is nice. This is where I fly at. It's a south wind today though, so it sucks. It's pretty nice carrying it. It's like attached on there solid, even with just a suction cup. It's funny. I just wish the display wasn't so dim. Yeah. Trying to shoot some macro. Hold on. <clears throat> These flowers are not open yet. Everything's still dead. In a pretty boring area for photography.